But then I need an argon mass spectrometer because it's going to be very small amounts of argon. Well, you got to keep it out of the container. It's non non trivial, but yeah, like it sounds like a lot. You follow you you follow you take your big gas with smudged nitrogen oil on it. He's got a mask. He came up to do our healing. Interesting. Really? Hmm. What do you think? Alright, so this is a uh, water treatment system. At first we filter the water to pure to high purity. And then we take this, we use this orange pump to circulate the water through the one tank here. Then it goes through a, what we call here at ISI the cell. And this is where the reaction occurs in this section. And then it goes back into the original tank that it came from. And back this is the circulates from the pump back through the reactor. A little reaction, blue reaction occurs here and then you generate either steam, hydrogen or power. The blue unit will generate Anywhere from 100 to 200 kilowatts of power DC. It's very good action in my life. And this unit here? Uh, a million to two million. Those uh, 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 micro motions, I don't think you're going to get much more accurate. Also, they're in a good system. It's a free product system. Yeah. Pardon me? Yeah, it's an operational system. It's, yeah. it's, it's uh, in an in, in experimental stage right now with like different uh, dimension tips. And, <laughs> Uh, oh, you, you can't more get Yeah, yeah. We have actually one. Yeah. Uh, we've here. We've ran it before mm -hmm. uh, uh, through this reactor, and we're breaking the bipoles through cavitation here, and we get this blue purple dot right here. Mm -hmm. uh, and what happens is then we flow this. And it's sort of a semi-liquid gaseous state at mm -hmm. this point. Mm -hmm. And we flood the tank to about here. Mm -hmm. uh, Stand well clear. And then we dissolve the oxygen. It's, it's welded. Yes. We dissolve the oxygen <laughs> in the water. Do you? Yes. And only hydrogen comes out. And we have a beautiful byproduct because if you're pulling out the hydrogen, why is the solubility of oxygen in water high? Is we end up with a beautiful byproduct called peroxide. Okay, see, this is the question I was asking uh, what, before. The, why does it go to peroxide? It's, it's the, the peroxide. It, the it isn't splitting the water molecule, yeah. it's disproportionating the water molecule. And the solubility of oxygen in water is about the same as the solubility of hydrogen. They're both in the and they're, because they're driven by the same But, but why is the hydrogen coming out only? Because you're making hydrogen peroxide. The oxygen is bound up as the O2 is in the H2O2. So you, you are disproportionating water into H2O2 and H2, which is a far more valuable process. And if this is in fact what you're doing, then it's, it's worth a hell of a lot. Remember the facts. Mm. Yeah. You've got a point there. Hmm. So what will, you do, what will you do with the hydrogen peroxide? Give it to the water treatment people. Yeah, water treatment. It's a, it's, it's, it's a huge used market as a solvent. for hydrogen peroxide. Oxygen delignification yes. no, 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 in pulp and paper. It's a very paper. expensive chemical. Yes, mm. yeah. 70 cents a pound.